this is Yen from Devolutions, and today I wanted to piggyback on a previous video that we just did, reintroducing Devolution Server, the free edition, and all the benefits it gives to organizations under 10 users. A lot of our current users that use Remote Desktop Manager, our remote connection platform, currently use a SQL Server as an advanced data source. The only problem is there are limitations to SQL Server. We offer Devolution Server for free, which if you are under 10 users, this is a no-brainer. To make it even easier, what we have done is provided a tool to migrate your entire SQL uh, database over to Devolution Server free. It'll migrate your vaults and your users and permissions and attachments and documentation. Absolutely everything will be brought over from your SQL Server to your Devolution Server free. Let's dive right in and I'll show you exactly and I'll walk you through how this process goes. Let's check it out. As you can see here, I'm running Remote Desktop Manager with a Microsoft SQL Server data source and I have a few users and groups that I want to migrate over to Devolution Server. Now also, if you are running a security provider, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you remove that before proceeding to the next steps so that the SQL migration can work correctly. Since this will migrate the database in place, we recommend that you back it up before you proceed to the next steps. And finally, in order to install Devolution Server, you have to have the Devolutions console, which is available for free at devolutions.net. So I've already installed it onto my machine and we're gonna go ahead and start the migration now. So let's open up the Devolutions console and then we're gonna click new, IIS web server and migrate SQL data source. The wizard will open where you'll enter in the existing RDM MS SQL data source and the authentication settings. Next, enter the typical details you would for a DVLS install, such as the URL where Devolution Server will be accessed from. Then we're going to enter in the administrator credentials for DVLS, the scheduler settings, and set a password for the encryption keys. Finally here, we'll click install, save the recovery keys file, and let Devolution Server migrate the SQL database. Once the process is complete, the newly migrated instance will launch, and you can choose to enter in a license, or like in our example here, we're gonna to choose to activate the free edition because we're using less than 10 users. And that's it, my information has been migrated successfully. You can see my credentials as well as sessions. And if I head on over to administration, I could see that the users were also migrated over as well as the user groups. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and have a wonderful rest of your migration day.